Well, that one wasn't as much fun as the first ones we've had, but it was a good game, good, really good uh, college football game. Um, I think it's pretty simple. They, uh, this game came down to their ability to rush the football, and we couldn't run the football very well. So we, came, we became a little bit one-dimensional, and um, I mean, I really think that's what the difference was. Uh, penalty yards are about the same. Um, they got a couple returns on us, um, but we stopped them after they did. Uh, turnovers evened out. Um, we were better in third down than they were. See, we hit a fourth down, they didn't. So really the biggest difference in my opinion is um, their ability to rush the ball. Uh, I think they averaged a little over five yards per carry. And I think we were at uh, three six or three seven. And that, that, that was really the difference. But there's two good teams out there today playing. And um, in the fourth quarter, I thought that they did a better job scheme-wise than coaching than we did. And then they made some plays at the end um, to, to get them over the hump. Um, I think I'll be fair to Akron in saying that. In what ways did you feel like the uh, scheme-wise and in better coaching uh, came to life? I just said they made a few coaching. They, they made a few more uh, plays there than, than we did calls. Um, they. Uh, we couldn't we couldn't get much adjusted in the running game, and and I thought they did a little bit. Um, we did bust a coverage in uh, late in the game, uh, but overall, you know, defensively, uh, we played pretty good. Um, offense kept putting them back out there in the third and fourth quarter. And then uh, offensively, we just didn't rush the ball as effectively as we needed to. He's fine. Yeah, he played pretty good. Uh, he missed a couple throws, but yeah, he, he, he overall he played pretty good. It, it is interesting, isn't it, Mike? You, you look so sharp coming out, taking fourteen nothing lead, and then the rhythm just outside of a couple of plays here and there, you just never you can got rush the ball. You can rush the ball. Not effective run the football. Are you able to pinpoint kind of why the, the rushing game wasn't there? For you? Uh, you know, I, I would hate to say there's a lot going on in there. I would have to look at it. It'd be unfair for me to, to say right now. And how much did Spencer, how much was he able to practice and, and how did that affect him? I, I don't want to talk about any injuries or uh, directly related to players and how much they practice. Sanders, he had two, uh, a big touchdown run and scored another one on a nice run. After that, he didn't get a lot of running lanes. What was going on there? Well, I, I, I'd hate to say, um, without looking at it, I don't know if it uh, – some of it could have been scheme, some of it could have been just um, us not fitting them up. I'd, I would have to look and see. What did you tell the team after the game? How do you guys bounce back? I tell them the truth, I, what I just told you. Uh, I think that the difference was they rushed the ball effectively and we didn't. Uh, their coaches made some good calls late in the game and uh, they made some plays in the end. But I told them all week, you're playing a good team. They're going to make plays, you're going to make plays, you're a good team. And so uh, they made the plays at the end. And, and that's the truth. And um, I mean, this league uh, is going to, I don't know if anybody has a guaranteed win at all. Uh, I think it's uh, it's going to be week to week in preparation, and so I asked them to make sure that tomorrow when we come to work, that they're in a good frame of mind. And I understand they're frustrated. That's good they're frustrated, but I want them to be in a good frame of mind so we don't waste tomorrow, because you know basically it's about the journey from Sunday to Saturday. That's what it's about: preparation and give yourself the best chance to play well. Mm, kind of a little bit, but, um, you know, two is a low percentage play. And, um, you know, I felt like that we need to kick it and give ourselves a chance because the way the games, uh, the way the rules are set up, you're getting ready to go for two anyway. You have, uh, Mike, I think you have four different 14 point leads where you, you might be one play away from. That's right. Knockout. 
That's right. Is that, did you get a sense it was coming? A, a sense of what? One more. Did you get that sense? Yeah. One, one more? Well, we had a chance. We we had the ball around the 50-yard line twice. Uh, one time with like uh, six minutes and 40 seconds or something, and then we had it again. And um, if we would have played decent and moved the ball a little bit, we had a chance to finish the game. We didn't do it. Um, keep working on things that we're good at and covering guys up and running your feet and breaking tackles and just basic stuff. Can't change. Can't change where you're at. Just got to keep working on it. Sure. I mean, it affected some, but I mean, you know, we put other guys in and play, and and uh, they got to they got to block and make plays. So, um, we. Uh, I just thought that uh, they made some good calls coaching in the fourth quarter, and then they made some plays that, that we didn't in the fourth quarter. So I give them credit. I give their coaches credit and give their players credit for making a couple plays. Mike, what did the refs say to you about the substitutions? Uh, I, I, I'm not sure right now. I mean, I, it's kind of a train wreck. Uh, I'm not saying whose who's fault it is. I'm just not clear on what's going on, to be honest with you. So um, we'll, we'll have to try to figure it out and see kind of what's going on. It's a combination of a lot of things. Uh, there needs to be some clarity on how it's supposed to work now. It's been different these last two weeks for us than it has been in a long time for me. And then we have to be better as coaches uh, in the adjustment as we go on through the game. We didn't try to be conservative. Uh, we didn't move the ball as good, but we didn't say, hey, we need to be conservative. Was the passing game was sporadic? Is that, is that because of the off on you know and couldn't I think the you know, again, the big picture is we didn't rush the ball very well. And so when you're averaging three and a half yards per snap running the football, the uh, the other team at some point might think you're one dimensional. And then they can play a little differently. What did TCU do so well running the ball? You mentioned they ran the ball better. So what did TCU do so well? Mm. Scheme wise, uh, there's nothing out of the ordinary. Um, I think one of the major issues is trying to protect against number one. So when you're trying to protect against him, uh, it's hard to play the run a lot. So he draws a lot of attention. Uh, and I thought we did a good job defensively. He made some plays. We lost him there at the end of the game. We, we dropped coverage on him. But overall, our defense, our plan, the way we said make him run 10 or 12 plays to score worked pretty good. And then we were able to make them kick field goals for a long time, which was good. I mean, they got a good offense. They, they can, they, you know, they're going to score some points and whatever. But um, number one is a factor in trying to stop the run. You know, I thought I, I kind of thought about that myself. I don't think so. Um, I think they made some good coaching calls and they made some plays. I, I don't think we were tired. Good as this league is, good as that team is, you played today. No shame in losing here. Probably weren't going to go undefeated, but to, to have again that lead, is, it, is, it, is that going to launch? Oh, well, they all do. You know, when they lose, I tell you, guys, you know, I don't even remember the wins. I, won, I, I always remember the losses. Uh, we, we were trying to put it away. We just didn't get it done. But, um, you know, the, the challenge now is just what you said is um, I'm going to guess main, most every game we play is going to be like this. One good thing out of it, 
No doubt. Yeah. Uh, what was that, 53? 52? He did a nice job. I'd say that's about, that might max it out right there. He did? He had a little bit of win. I think he had a little bit of win. So I'd say that'd be about his range. That's a base play for us. Um, and they drop coverage. Like, they drop coverage in that zone like we did over there on the with uh, number one. You say drop, you mean bust. Mm -hmm. Anything else, Good. All right, guys. Okay, so